Hey, how's it going? Welcome back, welcome back. This week, we are in the 1948 Chevrolet five-window pickup truck. Specifically, it is Icon Thriftmaster numero 23, 23, and it is built in the old school style. This truck, this truck got some style. We showed it off last week at our Icons of Design charity event, which by the way, went so well. What an amazing group. We had about a thousand guests, uh, about 50 vendors, craftsmen of all sorts, and uh, most of the top custom car builders in the country. And it was uh, from the security team to the janitors, to the guests, to the exhibitors, like just the like nicest, best vibe group at the event. I, already, me and my team are cooking up how much crazier and better it's gonna be next year. And if you didn't make it this year, we sure hope you do next year. Nice, T-Bird. I wanna build one of those, haven't done one yet. So anyway, back to this truck. Old school style, so the client wanted to keep it super retro in vibe, but he wanted it like retro remixed or elevated. So for example, with old school, I usually avoid metallic paint because it just doesn't fit the vibe, right? But this client wanted metallic paint. He was fond of a very particular sort of creamy white used by Volkswagen in the contemporary uh, Beetle. And then we struggled to find a good sort of timeless sort of champagne bronzy color, which turned out to be a late model BMW color. And I think they paired super well. And this truck is very sort of united and color theme simplified. So there's really only three colors. You've got the cream on the roof, you've got the principal body color, and then you have chocolate brown. So, we did a chocolate brown hand-painted pen stripe uh, right at the bell line between the two colors where they meet for the cab and body. And then we also did that chocolate as a base thematic in the interior. So this leather is from one of my favorite tanneries, Opera Tannery out of Italy. So it's a beautiful suede, nice sort of grip to it gonna age magnificently and then we had some fun it's like veg tanned sort of saddlery inspired woven strips of leather so we did that for the inset horseshoe form for the seat bottom and seat backs where you'd normally do like just a boring old piping but first time I played with this material we're definitely gonna be doing it again more in the future but just kind of broke up the suede and added a nice little nuance to something simple but considered, you know what I mean? The uh, sun visors on this one, we stayed old school. We wrapped those in the same opera suede. The headliner is a really nice and sort of neutral moleskin chocolatey Alcantara. Door panels and seat layout, typical old school as far as where we do the pleats and the stitch lines. We did the simple suede for the armrest tops. I was trying to figure out how to make the piping work on the door panels and I even tried it around the perimeter and it just looked sloppy. So we killed it, we did it. Stayed nice and simple. For the rugs, Hargarten Square Weave, again in the chocolate brown. The dash on this one came out really cool. So our friends at Dakota Digital let us break one of their rules and they let us geek out and color match the gauges. So we introduced the two body colors into the gauge design, which I think is just, just flows nice. We did the column and dash and the white as applied to the roof, but then on the glove box, ashtray, and center, well, what originally was uh, the AM speaker panel, which we now turn into two out of four of the AC vents, we did all of that in the darker champagne color, and then hand painted the Chevrolet letters. Um, for the audio system, being an old school, it's going through a digital sound processor to nice 
high-end Focal K2 with separate speakers. Bass is hiding in between the seats, and it's a Bluetooth-dependent audio system. So if you look at the dash knobs, you've got A for audio, then lights, wiper, fan, vent, and temp. You'll notice that the audio knob has a secondary little thumb knob on the back, and that's to control your bass circuit. Again, hand-painted infill for all of those letters in that same champagne color. Steering wheel is the tri-fin reproduction with reduced diameter, and then that is wrapped and hand-stitched in the same suede used on the seats. Of course, the body is an original Chevy pickup truck body that has been through hours and hours and hours of love and refinement efforts. So it is media blasted to raw metal, extensive layers of insulation, sound deadening materials. Then it is powder coated in the oven. Then it is block sanded, skimmed, primed, sealed, and then conventional or modern conventional to stage painted. The color break is under the clear coat. So it's nice and buttery smooth. Mild tint to the windows, hardly notice it. Um, we also had some fun, since we're hand painting a bunch of stuff, we went ahead and stripped the factory hubcaps and the icon side emblems, as well as the stock style center front hood emblem. And then we color coordinated that so that just everything kind of flows nicely together. Of course, you have power windows. We have power door locks. Power windows are a analog style crank of my design um, that you tap once for down, once for up, twice for all down, twice for all up. Super convenient. Power door locks are done by the fob on the keys. Oh, wood, walnut, beautiful. Love working in walnut, super durable. Nice and stable, and for the color palette of this truck, it just really had a nice flow to it, so that's really neat. Uh, next Thriftmaster we're finishing, we're trying a very interesting wood that I am just not smart enough to remember the name of, but it's kind of like, it's basically a Mexican species related to uh, mesquite. So it's super veiny and funky, has tons of character. Super hard to find planks that uh, were wide enough and long enough because the trees are little scraggly buggers. So that was a fun six months finding the wood. Walnut's still pretty simple to find though, so this one was easy in that regard. The three-point belts are for the principal driving and front passenger position. The center console armrest situation folds up. We have lap belts for a third passenger, if you care to. These Thriftmasters, they're just so much fun. This one's running, of course, pretty much all of them these days are running. The Art Morrison Sport chassis with four-wheel independent suspension. A little bit of rear steer. Incredible handling characteristics, but also really nice manners. So it sticks, but it doesn't kick your ass. We did the taller of our various stances that we offer people. It's pretty much just the go-to. Very few people these days like want them slam. They want a more stock-ish looking. You're down low enough to handle, but not so low that you can't get up and down driveways or hit parking berms, which sucks. All traditional chrome finish, of course, being an old school. We're not doing much of the brushed nickel these days on the new schools. Still do it if people insist, but I'm kind of going for the chrome more and more. Still want to do one in copper. That would be kind of nifty with like the right paint color, like dark burgundy or chocolate maybe. I don't know, just the thought. Powertrain, of course, is our beloved General Motors 6.2. LS3. It's part of the E-Rod series, so it's emission certified, uh, but not with like EGR and smog pump and all that crap, just pre and post cat wideband O2s and cats and a sealed 
fuel system with uh, charcoal canister and evap perch. Uh, rack and pinion power steering. General Motors 4L85E four speed automatic with overdrive. Icon Sport Brembo hydro boosted brakes all the way around. Tons of stopping power. Bridged dual exhaust, stainless steel, TIG welded. Proprietary electrical system. Um, kind of sexy the way it's, you know, the seat bottom articulates up and then all your fuses and relays and digital sound processor and everything you're ever going to need a monkey with is super accessible. It works out quite nice. So that's, uh, that's enough of me babbling. You guys be well. We'll see you again next week. We've got some really cool stuff coming out of the oven any day now and I look forward to sharing it with you. So be kind to yourselves, be kind to the planet, be kind to the people you don't know and uh, yeah. Hasta luego muchachos.